comparison to see how the audio differs between the ambient noise on the motorcycle and then having no ambient noise, just my voice, because you guys can barely hear the bike start up right now. By no means is the bike loud. Got stock pipes on here. I'll probably put some exhausts on this thing the next season at the very least. I'm in no rush for that. I like the way the bike sounds. It's not obnoxiously loud. And when I get up early in the morning to go to work, I'm not pissing off all my neighbors. Maybe. I guess I should probably check with them first before I say that. I'm just doing up my shoulder vents right now. It's not necessarily warm out here, but it's not cold. So, I don't know if I'm going to upload the first bit because I don't know exactly how the audio sounded on that first bit um, on the way to this location. So, you may just, you may never hear what I said before. I'm sure you're all very heartbroken about that. No, I'm just kidding. But today, since you missed that first part, possibly, I uh, I have my GoPro set on wide because last time I had it set on medium. So you should be able to see my gauge cluster. You should be able to see all that stuff and more of the road. You'll be able to see a lot more than you did before, theoretically. One thing I did notice from the last video is that... Uh, the video itself was a little tilted. It favored one side, so maybe that's still the case, but um, regardless, I have another solution that I'll be doing for my, my mount, because right now it's using um, some of those add-ons you get from the GoPro, um, the mounting options that you have, like they have a J bracket, um, and you can kind of customize how you want it mounted. But if I use this stuff that I got called Sugru, it's apparently this organic moldable glue that takes about 24 hours to cure, um, then that will help out a lot because, uh, like I said previously, my, my helmet, there's a lot of edges. There's no real flat area to, to mount something like uh, the GoPro bracket or even the curve bracket. Um, so we'll see there. Exciting news, I got some new riding boots. Not these ones that I have on with me right now. Um, I bought some Icon 1000 Elsinores and I got them in in uh, brown. I'm just gonna turn off here, guys, uh, for a second. I just gotta redo my, my strap, my helmet strap. I don't know if I wanna turn here, actually, a lot of gravel. Yeah, I'll, I'll save it. Oh, that was a bad downshift. It's like a... I have a pattern of not doing up my helmet strap. It's not a very good pattern to have. Yeah, so I am excited about my Icon 1000 Elsinore boots. Honestly, I've been looking at these boots for so long, and I finally decided to pull the trigger on them. Um, and I should have them by the beginning of April, so maybe in about a week or two. Uh, yeah, no, it should be no more than a week. Um, so I'm excited to put those on, ride with those. I've heard great things about them, premium quality boots. The only thing is that for the price point that they're at, you're not getting waterproof, which is kind of a ripoff because um, it's not cheap by any means. So the question I've had, though, in regards to the boots and just styling in general and picking your kit, um, because you have to choose what you're going to wear. You're going to have to choose your, your protective gear. Are you going to wear leather chaps? Are you going to wear a speed suit or like a leather uh, racing suit that you find a lot of the super sport bikes, bike riders uh, wearing? Are you going to be wearing like a leather vest? Like, uh, you know, those guys who ride those Harleys, motorcycle gang dudes, um, or just uh, who, you know, could appreciate that style. Oh, a nice Raptor. Um, so you have to make that decision you have to make that choice what are you gonna wear how are you gonna wear it you know and i've always been a little confused because I, I i have a naked bike a standard bike so it's like a sports bike but it's a more upright position the handlebars are not like crunched in they're really nice and you you pretty you have a really comfortable stance the the controls are neutral so you're in a really upright position yeah so you know one of the questions 
and I'm by no no means an expert, but I'm going to share with you guys one of the questions that I have when it comes to motorcycle riding, kit, getting gear, and the style that goes with the kind of bike you ride. How strict are those rules? How strict are the, 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 the um, you know, what is motorcycle style etiquette? Like, if I, if I ride a, a Harley Davidson, can I wear a uh, super sport racing leather suit? Probably not. You know, no, meaning like, I probably wouldn't. I'm sure there's probably someone out there that does. But I'm sure there are some unspoken rules. And it seems a lot more clear when you have like a super sport bike. Um, seeing someone on a super sport bike wearing a full leather suit, that makes sense. That looks normal to you. Again, if you see someone on a Harley Davidson, one of those big boys, uh, like the Fat Bob, wearing a full leather suit, that, you know what, I don't think that's normal. Right, but now I'm on a naked bike, and I think I have a bit more lateral, a little bit more uh, flexibility in what I can or cannot wear. Or I shouldn't say can or cannot wear. Let's be honest, guys. You wear whatever you like, whatever you think is cool, whatever you feel comfortable in. Um, but should or should not is a different thing uh, from can or cannot. Um, so I bought these Icon Elsinore 1000 boots. Beautiful boot. Um really you know it kind of does favor like a street um rider like i kind of see someone on a cruiser wearing the elsinore boots and i'll put a picture up but does that mean that me on a naked bike i can't wear those boots like what am i supposed to wear i know they have some uh motorcycle shoes that uh offer protection um but they're a bit more casual looking, so you could pretty much, uh, if they're comfortable, you could pretty much wear them in the workplace, in the office space, and they're protected. They offer protection, skid protection, ankle protection, all that good stuff. These boots, you could wear them in your jeans or over or, or over your jeans. You, you really have that choice, but they are a bold looking boot. And I am, to be honest with you, even though I bought them, I don't know if they go with the kind of style of bike that I ride. Does that mean I'm not going to wear them? Hell no. I love the way they look. I'm going to wear them. I, you know, I've always been an outlier, right? I've always been a misfit in the way that I think. Um, I've always been a misfit in the way that, you know, how I stop myself. How I, like, I do what I feel comfortable doing. And at first I thought that was a curse. Never being able to go along with the crowd. But it really is a blessing. You know, being able to be your own person, being your own individual. Um, it's not always easy but it absolutely is a blessing so yeah i should have those boots here in the next uh week or so and i'm really excited to get those on and ride in those some of the pros of the boot i mean the cons yeah it's uh it's um not waterproof for that price point they're definitely not cheap they're not waterproof and you definitely at that price point you're going to want something waterproof the pros is that this thing will offer awesome protection. Like I said before, one of my buddies, bad motorcycle accident, um, and he lost his leg. It was actually his ankle. I don't want to be too graphic here, but it was catastrophic damage to his, um, to his ankle. His whole foot was sheer, uh, sheared off. And the damage was so catastrophic that they had to actually remove uh, most of the leg from, uh, I think, just above the knee. All of that was gone. So, I mean, I don't think you could ever be too protected on a motorcycle or overprotected. So, I mean, these are boots and they're going to offer shin protection. They have like a steel plate over the shin which is awesome, great sole protection, uh, the back of the heel, like it's, it's, it's got me covered. So in that sense, you know, I'm happy about uh, purchasing those boots. So yeah, and I, I could do a review on those boots if you guys would be interested in that. But yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Really excited about getting that new kit. The jacket that I'm wearing is the Icon Base Hawk 1000. It's a premium jacket, it fits awesome i love the way this thing fits um i wear it in an xl and it's really good quality it keeps me nice and protected from the elements waterproofing i'm not too sure how good it is for waterproofing but 
they're great. Jackets are great. I have a, a Revit waterproof like touring jacket at home. So for those longer trips where I'm expecting maybe a possibility of rain, I could easily put that on and be protected. It has like a um, like three different layers, so it's all good. And then the boots that I have right now are Fox uh, Racing. Um, I think they call like the Fox bo uh, Fox Racing Bomber Fives or something like that. Um, and they're really comfortable. I like them. I have no qualms about them. They're not waterproof either. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I kind of was uh, battling with should I get waterproof a set of waterproof shoes, which would have been the wise thing to do. But until then, I will be using plastic bags around my feet. <laughs> that's only if I'm going on like a long trip. Um, like a long, like I want to do a long trip this summer, maybe down to Seattle or somewhere down there. I don't know. So in that case, I'll, I'll have all those contingencies, whether it's plastic bags or whatever, or like a rain jacket. I don't know. But if it's just around town, like this is fine. I don't mind getting a little wet, um, just in the city and whatnot, but prolonged riding. Yeah. So yeah, guys, um, I guess, uh, I kind of went on a tangent here, but this is pretty much me testing out the mic. I'm going to go home and see how the audio sounded and I'll decide what clip I will upload, if any. Maybe I'm just speaking to myself in vain. Maybe none of this is going to be uploaded, but it's okay because I usually talk to myself. So with that, guys, thanks for checking out the Moto Vlog. Um, I really appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, if you ride, ride safe. If you drive, drive safe. If you walk, just be safe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now. Thank you.